we learn about the methods of preparation as well as the chemical properties of benzene the aliphatic hydrocarbons if you see they do not have a sooty flame they have that blue flame now aryns or benzene reacts with halogen in the presence of lewis acid like so if i take benzene and treat it with alkyl halide in the presence of anhydrous hello my dear students welcome back to session 9 on the chapter hydrocarbons last class we studied about the structure of benzene and about the aromaticity that is the hacule rule under benzene now today we learn about the methods of preparation as well as the chemical properties of benzene so coming to preparation of benzene benzene is commercially isolated from coal tar and there are several different methods of preparation in that first being decarboxylation of aromatic acids that is if you take sodium salt of benzoic acid now what is this sodium salt of benzoic acid now see this is the benzene ring where you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 carbon atoms you have hydrogen everywhere which you are not going to write okay and here also there is a hydrogen in benzene and there is an alternating double bond correct or we can just put a circle to show the hybrid resonance structure here one hydrogen is replaced by cooh group acid group then we call it as the benzoic acid what is it benzoic acid now in this the hydrogen is again replaced by sodium or potassium then it becomes sodium salt of benzoic acid okay so we take the sodium salt of benzoic acid heat it with soda lime last class i told you what is soda lime isn't it it is a mixture of sodium hydroxide with calcium oxide okay so it gives benzene so what exactly happens here is na2 CO3 will be liberated and this hydrogen will go instead of COONA to give benzene structure so this is the first method of preparation of benzene next is reduction of phenol if i have a benzene ring with oh group what is it oh group is present then we call this as phenol what is it phenol and if i treat it with zinc dust and if i'm heating it heating always we show it in the triangle shape above the arrow mark isn't it so when i'm heating it zinc will take up the oxygen to form zinc oxide hydrogen will get substituted there to give benzene so i hope you are able to understand so this is the second method of preparation next is about the properties of benzene so physical properties of benzene if you see benzene is a colorless liquid but it is insoluble in water but it is soluble in alcohol ether chloroform etc and also benzene itself is a good solvent for many organic and inorganic substances that is you can dissolve the inorganic substances or some organic substances in benzene so it's a very good solvent okay organic solvent we call it as like fat resin sulfur iodine etc which is insoluble in water sometimes will be soluble here in organic solvent like benzene okay it burns with a luminous sooty flame in contrast to sooty flame means lot of smoke you can see okay it is red color smoke coming out if you see we call it as sooty flame whereas hydrocarbons like aliphatic hydrocarbons if you see they do not have a sooty flame they have that blue flame blue flame you can see for example lpg gas which you light it at home they have a blue colored flame isn't it so they are non sooty flame if lot of soot comes that is the smoke comes out of it we call it as the sooty flame so benzene burns with sooty flame okay next is about the chemical properties 
So in chemical properties, there are two types of reaction which benzene can take undergo. That is electrophilic substitution reaction and addition reaction. So what is it? Electrophilic substitution reaction. What is the meaning of electrophilic substitution reaction? See, electrophile means which contains a positive charge. Correct? Anything which contains a positive charge, we call it as the electrophile. Okay? Now, in benzene, if you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 carbon atoms, 6 hydrogen atoms, an alternating double bond can be there. So, this is structure of benzene. This is an electrophile. So, in electrophilic substitution reaction, the electrophile can substitute any one hydrogen atom. So, this hydrogen atom can be removed and instead of that, the electrophile can come and get attached. So, here you can get an electrophile. So, this is called as electrophilic substitution reaction. And today we learn about the electrophilic substitution reactions. Okay. So, first one is nitration. A nitro group is introduced into the benzene ring when benzene is heated with a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. Remember always concentrated sulfuric acid along with concentrated nitric acid is called as the nitrating mixture. What is it? They are called as the nitrating mixture. So, you are taking benzene, mixing it with both these acids and heating it up at 323 to 333 Kelvin to give nitro benzene. That is one hydrogen from benzene is substituted by NO2 group. So, the electrophile here is NO2 plus Okay, so NO2 group will come and get substituted and removal of water also takes place. So, this is the first reaction that is nitration. Next is halogenation reaction. Now, arenes or benzene reacts with halogen in the presence of Lewis acid like anhydrous ferric chloride or it can be even ferric bromide or ferric aluminium chloride to give Halo erin. Now, why we are using this, I will explain when I am teaching you all the mechanism. Okay. So, you are taking benzene, treating it with chlorine in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride. Here, one hydrogen will get substituted with chlorine to give chlorobenzene. Next is sulfonation reaction. So, for sulfonation, either you can treat it with concentrated sulfuric acid or fuming sulfuric acid. Fuming sulfuric acid is oleum that is H2S2O7. Okay. So, either it can be fuming sulfuric acid or just concentrated sulfuric acid in which benzene when it is heated with sulfuric acid, here you will get SO3H that is you have to think you have H2SO4. Okay. So, you are writing SO3 and 1H and 1OH is removed. Okay. So, here what SO3H is the electrophile which is getting substituted and it is called as benzene sulfonic acid. Okay. Next is friedel crafts alkylation reaction. When benzene is treated with any alkyl halide, what is alkyl halide? I already explained. Rx is alkyl halide. What is alkyl group? It can be C2H5 group or it can be CH3 group. And halogens which are there? Chlorine, fluorine, bromine and iodine and commonly used is bromine and chlorine. So, I can write this. This is ethyl chloride. This is methyl chloride. Okay. So, if I take benzene and treat it with alkyl halide in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride as a catalyst, then alkyl benzene is formed. Okay. So, you can see benzene with CH3Cl in the presence of AlCl3, what will happen? CH3 group will go and get attached to any one carbon atom. If CH3 group is attached to benzene ring, we call it as toluene. Okay. And C2H5Cl is one more alkyl halide. 
with benzene in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride ethyl group is attached we just call it as ethyl benzene even here toluene can also be called as methyl benzene because it's ch3 group which is attached okay so that is about the friedel crafts alkylation reaction next is friedel crafts acylation reaction the reaction of benzene with acyl halide or acetic acid anhydride or we call it this one we call it as acetic anhydride okay so acid anhydride or with acyl halide when it is treated in the presence of again anhydrous aluminum chloride yields acyl benzene we are taking benzene with acetyl chloride acetyl chloride is ch3coch3 it's like this ch3 c double bond o c cl okay this is acetyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride what will happen ch3 co group comes and gets attached and hydrogen what is there with go with chlorine as hcl and when benzene ring has got co ch3 we call it as acetophenone okay next is benzene with acetic anhydride now what is this acetic anhydride it is ch3 c double bond o o c double bond o ch3 this is acetic anhydride so here you can see these the ch3 co group will get attached to the benzene ring you have ch3 coo plus one hydrogen from benzene ring to form acetic acid also okay so you can see again this is which is the molecule formed here acetophenone only is formed okay so this is friedel crafts acylation now if you take drastic conditions okay benzene on treatment with excess of chlorine in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride in dark then it will yield hexachlorobenzene or benzene hexachloride so what will happen we are taking benzene excess of chlorine in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride in dark and in cold if you are treating what will happen all the hydrogen atom will be substituted with chlorine so we know that in benzene what is it i have 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 isn't it and everywhere there is a hydrogen also like this and here there is a resonance like this so every chlorine atom if it has to get substituted we require drastic condition and this will happen to give hexachlorobenzene and 6 hcl will be given so this happens only when excess of chlorine in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride dark and cold condition it is required okay so that's about the electrophilic substitution reactions next class will be learning about the mechanism of the electrophilic substitution reaction so thank you my dear children stay tuned stay focused